Hey, I'm Greg. And I'm John. And we're here with some Halo 4 gameplay. This time it's going to be in Team Infinity Slayer on Solace. Oh, nice. I haven't seen this game yet, Johnny. Yeah, I uh, played this one a while ago, so I'm not exactly sure what happens myself. Looks like I start off here going for the incineration cannon. You know, I really like that move. I feel like not enough people are going for the incineration cannon on Solace. Yeah, everyone seems to want to go for the sniper, <clears throat> and they just get DMR'd on the balcony. Yeah, that's tough. You really need a team to help watch you, but you, yeah. can, you can grab the incineration cannon by yourself. It's very powerful. Yeah, yeah. Possibly the best gun in the game. This thing is just incredible. Yeah, definitely. Um, although I do like the two shots that the rocket offers. Yeah, it's nice to not have to reload in between shots. This thing is just so good. Though. The, the splash damage that it gives is, is incredible. Yeah, and the secondary effects, uh, the guy thinks he's gotten away, and then the the secondary splash effects can often kill him. Yeah, ooh, take a little sniper shot there. Yeah. But I'm all right. So I'm, my loadout here is uh, camo, uh, ammo, and I think... Uh, what's, my, what's my other perk? I always forget this one. Uh, mobility. Nice, nice. I like that loadout. Um, it lets you get to the weapons really quick, and then you also get a bunch of ammo. I, I like I like having a main loadout, and then also one for right off the beginning of the game. Yeah, it's it's good to have a starting loadout, so you can get uh, the power weapons with tons of ammo in them. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, all right, well, I really haven't seen much action yet this game, Johnny. Yeah, well, I've taken a few guys out with the incineration cannon, but I'm I'm lying low. You never want to be too aggressive with it because if you if you die with that, that's just a waste. Ooh, missed yeah. that guy there. You really don't want the incineration cannon to fall into the enemy's hands. That can just be so frustrating. Yeah, completely agree. Um, which base do you like more on Solace? Yeah, that's a good good question because they're not symmetrical. They're pretty close to symmetrical, but not quite. This one I would say is better if you have like a sniper or some type of long range weapon, but the other one's a little better for shotgun or scatter shot. Yeah, I, I actually, I like taking the incineration cannon in the other base, because the close walls really just make it pretty devastating. Oh, look at that shot. Look at yeah. that shot right there. Perfect. Long range incineration cannon. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. This camo is keeping me alive a lot here. Yeah. Um, would you say you're camo camping? Well, I don't know if I'd go that far. I'm definitely using camo, but I'm not I'm not just sitting in one spot. Yeah, no, I, I agree, I agree. Um, I just have heard a lot of players be frustrated with camo camping players. Yeah, it's definitely definitely something that's happening. Uh, like Dominion, there can be just people camping in the bases at yeah. all times, and that, that kind of sucks. But I'm trying to use camo a little more aggressively. Yeah, and 343 Industries has just made camo so good. It's really yeah. powerful. It's super tough to see someone with cameras. It really is. Oh, look at that shot shooting behind him. Yeah, that was nice. It's, it's really, nice. really easy to kill yourself with the incineration cannon sometimes if you if you shoot too close. Oh, absolutely, and it, and that's just the worst. That's so frustrating. There's no worse feeling in the entire world. Yep, I I would go so far as to say that is a completely true statement. Okay. Um, okay. I'm afraid this guy's a little sniper, but yeah, I've, yeah. I've got camo, so. The assist there. What do you think about snapshotting in this game? Um, I'd say with the beam rifle, it's oh, definitely down there, yeah. But. That's my first death. Um, lost. Do I have any shots left in the incineration cannon? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so either. Uh, snapshotting beam rifle definitely amazing to snapshot with. Yeah, best weapon in the game. You think? It's it's pretty devastating. Yeah. Um, but it's kind of I'm I'm struggling to snapshot with the sniper rifle actually. Yeah. That's a oh. nice little five shot yeah. there on that guy. Absolutely. Oh, the bolt shot. That's that's a great weapon. What do, what do you think about the bolt shot? Is it is it the worst thing to happen to Halo? The best thing? Somewhere in between? Um. Well, when I have a bolt shot, I'm not too opposed to it. But yeah, being killed by it can really just just break your game. Yeah. You know, and some of our friends have really been complaining um, about the bolt shot. Yeah, it's pretty powerful as a secondary weapon. Just the ability to take someone out from close range like at, at all times is yes. pretty amazing. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, dude, I don't you just hate it when your ordnance drop gets stolen? Yeah. That might be even worse than killing yourself with the incineration cannon. Yep, definitely. Um, and where do you think bolt shot falls in, in between those two things? <laughs> so, somewhere in the middle probably. Yeah, yeah. I can I can see that. Okay, so I, I found that railgun and dropped myself in an overshield. So I'll see what I can do here. This guy is actually dead. Didn't didn't quite see that. Yeah. 
Dude, the, the railgun, I've really been working on it recently, and it's it's a powerful weapon. Yeah, it's great. Just the one shot, but you really do have to hit. There's not much flash damage, as you can see there. Yeah. That was pretty close, and, and just didn't take him out. Yeah, Luckily, definitely. I can pick him off with the DMR. But the uh, little-known fact, the camo railgun combo, as you, as oh, you can yeah. see here, yep. is a pretty good pretty good combo. Yeah, and that just sucks when you're just DMRing someone and you, you see, see the, that little blue glow. You see the blue glow and you just know what's about to happen. Yeah, and you know your time for this in this world is yeah, short. Yeah, very, very short. Yeah, absolutely. Um, oh, oh right. pick that guy off oh, at long range. Nice, nice. Um, like that. I'm, I'm becoming a pretty big fan of just taking little pot shots at guys across the map. Maybe getting a kill, maybe getting an assist. Yeah, any shot gives you the assist. Oh, that's, that's a nice railgun kill there. Um, <clears throat> just one shot to someone will give you an assist, so the extra five points, you know? Yeah. Gotta, gets, gotta get all those points you can get. Gets you closer to those ordinance drops. Though. Yeah, that that is so true. Um, oh. oh, yes. A little run in here, see but, if I can get them. But when your shields are going up, you're very visible, even with camo on. Yeah, the the shield glow is gives you away a lot. If you're like on a roof or just trying to hide with, with camo, and that happens. Yeah, yeah. Pretty devastating. My camo railgunning seems to be going pretty well so far. Oh, managed nice. to get that guy too. Nice. A foot shot, maybe. Oh, I'd just be so frustrated if I were the other team. I just hate going up against the <laughs> gun. I know. Because there's really nothing you can do if they just get that direct hit. Yeah, yeah. It's like, it's 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 not a super newbie weapon, but. Yeah. But in the hands of a medium skilled player, they can just take down the best. Yeah, yeah. It definitely takes some time to get used to. Yeah. But you can, you can release it a little early. You don't have to charge it all the way, you know. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Another another tip is if you are charging up and there's no one to kill, you just hit Y twice really quickly. Um, that way, it just you don't you don't waste a shot. On yeah, anything. I've wasted so many railgun shots. It's oh, miss that one. Yeah, and w what do you think about pulse grenades versus uh, the conventional frags? Oh, like that was that guy not playing there? He he might have not been playing, but I managed to get the five shot. Stepped away from the controller for a second. Yeah. Um. Pulse grenades, they're definitely better if you're running away from the enemy and you and you need some time for your shields yeah. to recharge. Yeah. But they're not not definitely not as aggressive. Yeah. Oh. Killing frenzy. Nice. And I'm I'm just such a fan of that Avenger medal. I love getting that. And I really <laughs> I'm I sometimes might not quite start shooting early enough because I just want to get that. Get event. the extra five points in the Avenger medal. Yeah. And my teammates have definitely suffered on account of that. <laughs> that that's too bad. Yeah, I mean it depends. It depends. Uh, obviously, I, I wouldn't let that happen to you. But yeah, yeah, that that is kind. Yeah, yeah. So that's my second death there. That guy takes me out. Or took me out back there. Ooh, two two of the worst grenades of all time, right there. Yeah, that's that, tough. That 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 sucks when your frag grenades just you waste them and then you you just can't get any more. Yeah, you cannot pick up grenades in this game unless you have that resupply on. Ooh, I, just, I oh. spot this <laughs> non-player. I go in for the six shot on him. Yep, yep. Definitely. I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. Oh. Sometimes oh. that means killing a non-player. The shotgun has gotten very good in this game. Yeah, it definitely has a little slower fire rate, but um, it's very, very powerful at close range. And much better than, than, than the scatter shot, I'd say. Yeah, I would agree with you there. I'd, I'd love to have a shotgun rather than a scatter shot, especially with bolt shots, because bolt shot can beat scatter shot. But yeah, because it, it takes not beat the shotgun. It takes a good two shots with the scatter shot, usually at at close to medium range to take someone out. But shotty's usually just one. Yeah. Hey, what's your favorite game type? Um. Well, I'm liking big team a lot actually. Yeah, that's it's a fun it's a fun one. I just recently got a pretty pretty sweet big team game that maybe we'll throw up here. Yeah. Not throw up, you know, but uh, put on YouTube. Is, yeah, is more what I was thinking. Throw down. We might we might throw, throw the game it down. down. That's a safer. Yeah, safer word. Definitely a better word choice there. Oh, oh yeah. Nice. Look at that shot killing. Killing spree. What, hey, what's your best spree so far? Uh, I think it's untouchable, which is twenty five. Or do you mean in this game? I was thinking in this game, but in this game it's it's just frenzy. Okay. But uh, yeah, I've only got an untouchable. Oh, oh, oh nice. nice. Bring the shotgun range. out. Yeah, I missed that guy, but. It's okay, yeah. my teammates take him out. And so do you like just hanging around in the bases, or do you do you move out into the middle and, and saw us? Uh, I'd say it really depends on what the other team is doing. If, yeah. if they're willing to just keep attacking you in the base, it's yeah. not a bad strategy to just stay there with, with like a sniper <clears throat> and pick them off as they're running. Oh, that's Victory. the end. Victory, and you've got to get off that edge before the game ends. That's, that's correct. All right, well, we're out of time. See you guys next time.